Before we begin, this video is sponsored by Sleeve Chief. You can find good quality accessories to make your deck and gear look good. Get card protector sleeves with artworks of all your favorite archetypes and cards for the main and extra deck. There's extraordinary border sleeves and they've got you covered with deck boxes, playmats, and dice as well. Head on over to Sleeve Chief's website through my affiliate link in the description box below and use my code SHADOW at checkout to get 5% off your entire order. Let's begin. Hey guys, I'm Naya and welcome back to the channel. For today's video, I decided to talk about cards you should probably get rid of right now. We talked about cards you should be acquiring, so it only makes sense to talk about cards you should also not have anymore because it's probably for the best. Some of these might be getting hit and some of them are dropping in price, so if you want to acquire a bit of money by selling them right now, you should probably do so. So going over the first card, um, it actually is an engine, the entire runic engine. And I want to start this off by saying that I get that putting the runic engine on this list might be a bit weird, especially because it's seeing a lot of play right now. But you don't really know what's going to happen on the next ban list. And if for whatever reason they decide to hit the runic engine significantly, which they might, it won't be as useful and it won't be as pricey anymore. And right now selling the entire thing is going to yield you enough money i think for it to be worth selling if you don't want to keep playing it overall people are still probably going to get the runic engine with ycs philly happening because we don't know if the ban list is going to drop before or after the ycs and also whether or not it's going to significantly hit runic or not so you might still get rid of it and also with the 2023 megatins having the tactical masters reprints in there the prices are going to drop after some time so that's the first engine and then the next card also is probably going to have a Megatin reprint which is Bestio Lobelion. With Darkwing Blast also announced to receive reprints in the tins, Lobelion might just be one of those cards and the price has been going down for some time now before it spiked. It like literally went so high with Bestio Lobelion seeing a ton of play in branded and it still does see play but only at one copy usually and also Bestios are seeing play in the Bestio control versions as an engine in Dragon Link and just overall it's very very useful. So if you, you yourself have no need for the card i would get rid of it because the price is going to go further down and as for the third card on this list i wanted to mention blazing cartesia so we mentioned branded and it's only fitting to talk about cartesia as well i literally got my copy for about 15 euros i think without thinking much just like getting it because why not it's a new secret rare you know i might use it i don't think i even had the branded deck at that point but I, I got it, and right now it's almost double the price, it's around $40, and uh, if you maybe pulled it or like held off on, on selling it, you can do it now, you can also wait uh, to for it to be a, a bit more expensive even, but I still wanted to bring this card to your attention, so in the branded deck, the card is literally so 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 busted and at the beginning the price wasn't that high because you need some time to really explore a card's potential in the deck and with Cartesia and Branded it's literally giving the deck a way to play around Ash with its fusion ability during the opponent's turn it's also a bridge to an interruption it's dodging impermanence um, that would maybe hit like an Aluber or something and then you fuse it off with Cartesia or a Lobelion or whatever so it's a really really strong asset in that deck i think and if you really have no need or use for it you can probably get rid of it the next one or two cards actually but i'm going to brand them as one package is mathmex super factorio and also the sigma with both cards having only the one printing they probably are like overdue a reprint sometime soon so they might get it and at that point the prices are going to drop and if you have any spare copies i would suggest getting rid of it for that particular reason and also because a lot of people are really excited about Methmec as of late with its um, successes quite a bit of them actually the deck is really on a lot of people's radar it's fairly budget except those cards and access codes so people like it and also Bishios fell off because what Methmec really struggled with was the Bishios and I'm not saying it's the greatest deck you can still get beat by people citing or maining Bishios and also has some other issues it's not exactly the strongest deck at least in my opinion but so a lot of people really really like it so if you have those spare copies you can get rid of them naturia exterior is a really interesting card to look at i think because even though it had a reprint last year those copies were quite cheap and now are 
pretty much sold out if you look at TCG player and they're going up in price quite suddenly. They're probably going to go up and up and become even more expensive, especially the older printings. So the card might even receive a reprint sometime soon. So if you have any of the versions you're trying to get rid of, I would probably do it right now. And why people are really jumping uh, to Naturia Exterio and Cyberstein is because especially post Cyberstorm Axis, this is a really cool engine you can include. Cyberstein, Cyberstein summoning Naturia Exterio. And also right now it's the package is seeing some play so it might even become more popular and then you can get rid of your copies for for the price that they hold right now uh, and also which is like besides the point but i feel like selling old prints is like almost a crime i probably wouldn't ever get rid of old printings because i just think they're really cool but like if you have a lot of copies or something and you really have no need for the old naturia exterior prints you can just you know sell them and that's it now the next one i wanted to mention is if you really feel like Tyr has no more potential, you can get rid of Perlerano. Perlerano was like quite expensive and right now the price is going down <laughs> to say the least. It's becoming quite cheap actually. So if you really feel like you're not trying to invest your time and energy into Tyr, you can just get rid of the field spells at least because the price is going to go even further down. So um, in my opinion, Tyr is still at least interesting, at least something to look at. And I know of one top from the 250th YCS, there might have been more, which I don't know about, but like, I think it has some potential. Not a lot of people are really excited for the deck though, as far as I know, because it just feels sort of dead. So if you have the field spells and find someone that's really eager to to mess with tier, you can sell them. And um, also, with Power of the Elements not receiving reprints in the Megatins, it's kind of weird because you don't really know when the cards are going to be reprinted. And with that, I want to turn to another card from Power of the Elements, which is Kurikara. So Kurikara became quite popular with people realizing that as Kashira players started to omit the full zone lock, since they were afraid of cards like Lava Golem and Nibiru, with that, the deck cards are going to shift as well, with people changing up the combo. Combos, the counters to the combos of course are going to become different and just change up and Kurikara came to a lot of people's minds uh, because it's very very useful if they do not go for the full zone lock and now with Kurikara being on a lot of people's radar it might go down in price because of it because less people will turn towards it because more people will play around it and it's just this weird circle but I still wanted to mention it because the price went up like significantly from when the card first dropped so um, even if some people might say oh it's not going to be as popular because people know about it that's still not entirely the case because you can't really know for every single player if they are going to shift what kind of combos they're going to go for so some people might still want to acquire Kurikara and it's going to be good also moving forward in the next format probably so like if you don't really feel like having it or keeping it or if you have extra copies i would suggest selling it because the price is quite high and also because we don't really know when the reprint is happening because power of the elements is not in the tins so with all that being said that is another one of the cards that you can get rid of if you want and we're also going to check out the last card on this list which is xyz encore i wanted to mention it because there are literally two copies they are sold out the price is going up and uh, it is probably received a reprint. It feels like one of those cards that also had quite old printings uh, from years ago that probably should should receive a reprint sometime soon and also why people are like excited about the Encore or excited. They're trying to acquire it because they're more afraid than excited of the Pearly deck and the Pearly boss monster because Pearly is going to receive support in Cyberstorm Axis. It's going to become a better deck and their boss monster is unaffected while it has five or more Xyz materials and it really easily has five or more Xyz materials. So um, the community started to turn towards XYZ Encore because it was useful back in Rongo format, and then of course Rongo got banned. So the card might be, um, you know, playable moving forward. So 
you probably should sell your copies because I'm like almost 100% certain it's going to receive a reprint sometime soon. And that's going to be it. Hopefully I covered some interesting cards and hopefully I gave you some ideas if you have any of them to get rid of them if you want. And also if there's any ideas and thoughts you have, please make sure to share them in the comments down below. I'm sure everyone is going to be grateful for that. And I would also love to read you guys' comments. So if you like the video, of course, make sure to like it, sub, check out all the social media, also sleep cheap, use my code SHADOW for 5% off at checkout and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!